beautiful morning here in Lincoln, California, looking at a very nice 27 Model T Lakes Modified. 2014 Amber Contender, a very nicely done car. The level of detail on this car is just shocking. Um, we're going to spend some time and I'll be able to have the owner kind of interject here and there and tell me about uh, some things that he's done on the car. It's finished, it's called Chocolate Rose is the car and that's the reason why is the color. It's a custom mix um, and they named it Chocolate Rose. Beautiful flathead V8, Tremec 5-speed, Curry 9-inch rear differential. But it's got some custom front end suspension and stuff like that. He basically, it's an all 27T body, steel body, and he's modified it by lengthening it three inches or so right in about this area so that it'll give you some more room. Custom hand modified, uh, actually started as windshield stanchions for a 27 Model T and they've been modified. A lot of time and love went into this car. It's a beautiful car. Um, ultra leather interior. We're going to we're going to have a spec sheet at spudsgarage.com. The morning and the light's perfect, so I've rushed this just a little bit this morning. Um, I'm going to let him tell us a little bit about the front suspension on the car. It's a quarter elliptical, um, handmade wishbones, but Charlie, why don't you tell us what you, uh, you're welcome to point out anything you want. Sure. The, uh, the front springs are the Posey's quarter elliptical. They were uh, put into the frame when the frame was being built, before it was boxed, and then the frame was boxed around it, so the adjuster nuts are still showing where you can make adjustments on those. Uh, and you're talking about over here, right? We're adjusting the, yeah, the tension the, on the springs. The what he's talking about is right here. And uh, and then we hand built the uh, the uh, radius rod so that and and we put the the brake lines along there. We wanted the car to look somewhat mechanical. We didn't want to try to hide everything. Just talking so right in here, and even these little quarter, uh, these uh, brake lines are uh, braided right there. These are uh, friction shocks, correct? Friction shocks. Okay. Right above that, you've got 29 Model A headlights, uh, halogen lenses, and turn signals in them. And then right here, you've got Lincoln brakes, uh, drum brakes. They're new style, self-energizing. So they're Lincoln juice brakes, basically. Yeah. A lot of time I was spent on the wheels. You were telling me they actually. Uh, Mounted, built the hubs, and then the, we bought, bought the, the wheels from Rally America up in Northern California, and and we took the wheels, uh, the the rims and hubs, and painted them, and then l had them laced after they were painted. Nice. And uh, so that everything we we also had Sherms. Uh, Sherms did all the chrome plating on the car. Uh, even had them chrome plate the stainless uh, uh, hubcaps so that everything would match. You can see the reflections in the quality of, of the chrome on it. Sherms does an awesome job. If you look here in the quarter elliptical springs, he actually built, had them upholstered so that it would cover the springs with upholstery there. And it's the same on the rear. Now the grill shell, 29 Model A grill shell that's been modified to... Slightly modified to fit the, the uh, shape of the car. Okay. And, uh, and then also uh, handmade the overflow tank and put a dummy on the on the other side. The truck got by, we were a little quiet there now. And we're gonna look at the hood now. You were talking about the grill shell, 29 Model A. I don't know if we covered it or not, all the way. We, uh, we did, it's, it's been altered slightly just to make sure that it fit the body lines. And then the hood is also a handmade item. You can see nice little peaks that were added. These are Stromberg 97s peeking through here, and these are actually uh, horn grills off a of 35 or 36 Ford, 36 Ford, 36 correct? Ford, yeah. Yep. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the engine as we go around it here. We just want to share with you the car as we go. I'll cover the custom-made exhaust when we do the uh, engine compartment side of it. Now on the rear, these are both are custom-made wishbones, front and rear Sherms plated, obviously. Um, but on the body side here, why don't you tell us about your uh, about your shifter knob for the Tremec 5-speed? Well, that, that has a, a personal history. Those are real brass knuckles that were cut off of a, a trench knife. My uncle gave those to me when I was 10 years old, and I managed to keep them to hang on to something. And uh, so we welded them onto the gear shift. We made the gear shift stick and, and then welded on a little ball on the top, had the whole thing chromed. So, that's a piece of my history that's in the car. Very nice. Now this dash is all hand formed, correct? Hammered out? The dash is all hand hammered. 
Very nice. Underneath the dash here, he's got a drop-down fuse panel that we'll have at Spud's Garage. You can see the uh, battery turn off there. It has Schroeder Sprint Scar style steering in it. Very cool. We'll talk about that a little bit. Now the Ultra Leather, who was it done by? Uh, Ross Gomez did that. He was working in my builder's shop at Genesis Fabrication. And uh, he did a nice thing. He put in a little, little glove compartment for me. Okay. And you were mentioning in the console, we'll get it when we come around the other side, but it's got... Uh, it's got the headlight switch and the fan switch uh, and the fuel pump switch. Okay. And then underneath the dash uh, are buttons for turn signals. Uh, you press quickly and it, it turns, it sends the signal three times. Hold it a little longer and it'll hold it uh, for 15 seconds. And then if you hold it longer, it just keeps going until you turn it off. Also, it has an inline parking brake. Uh, there's a button underneath the dash also for that. So it's like an electrical uh, e-brake then, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to shut the door. But the fit and finish on this car, we want to show you the door jams here. This is a very nice car. Um, it's won qu many awards. Why don't you ramble those off for me here while we're standing back and looking at it for a second. Well, we, we showed it for the first time. Uh, in January of 2014 in the Amber competition in Pomona. Uh, there it, it won uh, outstanding detail, outstanding engine, outstanding display, and a separate award that it was given was from h, &H Flatheads for the best dressed flathead. We showed it again in uh, February in Sacramento Autorama, and there it won best rod of the show, best in class, outstanding display, and then uh, we showed it in Del Mar, uh, Good Guys, in April. and it, That's in April of 2015, correct? 20, 2014. 2014, after the Amber. After yeah. the Amber, and it, it got a builder's choice from Charlie Hutton there. Uh, then we showed it again in August at Pleasanton, Good Guys, and it got a builder's choice there. Very nice. Yeah, this car is the kind of car that attracts a lot of attention. We're going to wander around and talk to the back. I don't know if you noticed as we went around it, but... All the tires have been buffed inside and out, so you're not going to see any riding or tire sizes or anything like that. Every level of detail is just amazing on this. Now, the rear is a 29 Model A buggy spring rear suspension, correct? Right. Okay. And it's also got a sleeve on it. And then the, the exhaust, uh, there's no mufflers on the car. The exhaust come out, of course, on a flathead, you have three ports. So uh, the three exhausts come back, they come together midway and then back into three uh, to equalize out the back pressure and, and mellow it out a little bit. M&M Special. This is a hand-built gas tank and you were telling me that it's got, uh, um, you actually built bumpers in it in case it got bumped. Yeah, it's a stainless steel tank and inside the baffles uh, are exceptionally large baffles and they're strong so that should the car ever be hit from the rear, the tank basically becomes a bumper. Okay, great. You know, notice he asked me when I walked up and looked at it this morning in his garage here, he says, Where, where's the, you know where the gas fill is? We actually will have a picture at Spudge. Why don't you go ahead and show him? It's actually sure. the gas fill is hidden behind the, uh, the tank strap here. It's a motorcycle push down and push and turn type cap. Nice. So they thought of everything when they built it. Um, suspension wise, we're actually going to do a walk around here in a minute and I'll just uh, do a quick undercarriage so you can look at ground side. I wanted to share some time on the car with Charlie. Um, so M&M Special, look at that view there, just beautiful. Fun car, he'd like to see it go to a collection of some type. Um, either way, collection of one is just fine too. Uh, be a mighty fine one car collection. So the tires are buffed inside and out. Now the steering is a, a Schroeder style so this is actually the steering box right here which is mounted underneath the dash and we'll show you that. And it follows up to the front and grabs the uh, left front there and then it's got a cross steer that goes across. And that Schroeder box also has a reduction unit on it so that it steers like a normal car as opposed to a sprint car. Okay, yeah. So he's uh, softened up the, the steering ratio basically so that it was more road responsive then. The dash, that ha hand hammer dash is just incredible. Uh, the steering wheel is also a one-off steering wheel. It has a quick release on it right here. You can see the button right there. See the German square weave carpet, 
perforated ultra leather tan. The little console we were talking about here. Why don't you tell me what each one of those switches are? Yeah, the, the front switch is the headlights, the middle switch is the uh, fan, and the rear switch uh, is the fuel pump, the electric fuel pump. Okay. Now these are uh, classic instruments, I believe. No, they're auto meter gauges. Auto meter would kill me for that. Um, auto meter, uh, full instrumentation. Car literally has a few miles on it. Um, I believe 88 is what I saw. Um, you might also notice the hidden hinges. Those hinges, I mean, they're strong enough you could almost sit on the door. Uh, Model, Model T's, of course, had an external hinge, and we didn't want that. We wanted a smooth side. Yeah, look at the pedals, and you can see the steering box here. I noticed your hinges, too. When I opened up the door, I could not believe how the fit there is. Um, when you open this door, I mean, there's it's just rock solid. The builder, your fabricator, who was your fabrication Dave guy? May, Dave May at Genesis Fabrication. He owns Genesis Fab in Galt, California. And uh, this became a, a labor of love, not only for me, but for Dave as well. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. All right, if this is the stage where we're going to ask you to get in and definitely hang on to the end of the video. We're going to pull the hood sides off. We're going to cover the engine for you. And then uh, I'll do a little undercarriage run around with the camera. And uh, we're going to ask you to go to Spud's Garage. Yeah, he's going to lift the Thank hood you. off, and then we'll talk about the engine. These leather straps have been dyed to match the interior, the spring straps for the hood. I got Charlie up early this morning. Oh, my goodness. And you might take a shot of this, too. Oh, yeah. See, he even followed the paint scheme to the back side of the All hood. Right. Now we've got the engine, the hood off, so we can, uh, Charlie can tell us about the engine on it. It's a 1951 Ford block, uh, all x-rayed and, and magnafluxed, sanded smooth. The block is all ground down, nice and smooth. So you've smoothed the whole block here. The entire block down. It's got a scat steel crank. Uh, Look at H the block. H-beam rods, Ross 9 to 1 pistons. 276 cubes, right? 276 cubic inch. Uh, it's got new Navarro heads on it from H&H &H Flathead. It's got a an aluminum, finned aluminum oil pan, also from H&H. &H. The uh, intake manifold is Offenhauser. It's an old one that we had, polished it up, put uh, new chrome Stromberg 97s on. And then the air scoops uh, are 36 Ford horn grills and built the, uh, built the actual ducting for that. Had to had a different size at the top of the carburetor than, the, than at the top of the scoop, so we had to make it fit. A lot of custom fabricated stuff on this car. It's just beautiful. You were telling me about the distributor earlier. The, the distributor was actually coming out a little high, uh, and we didn't want to put a bubble in the hood. And so my builder, Dave, says, well, I'll shorten that. So he did. He actually shortened the distributor. Uh, then we've it's got the overflow. GM-style distributor, yeah. Yeah, we've got the overflow. Uh, radiator tank on this side and on the other side is a dummy. Uh, so it can be symmetrical so basically. It can be symmetrical so the hood fits properly and looks right. Uh, These are all hand built and plated by Sherms, the water tubes. Yeah, and shrink the shrink wrap type seals on them so that you don't have the ugly clamps showing. Very nice. Now it's hooked to a uh, the transmission's a Tremec 5 speed, correct? That's right, a T5 Tremec. Okay. A McLeod clutch, and uh, and then a Curry rear end. Okay. It's a 350 gear on the rear end. Now he built some custom mounts. Look at the intricate pulleys down here. He built for the uh, uh, belt tensioner down there. Very nice. GM uh, wire connections here. Um, everything's heat shrinked. Let's go over to the other side. Now the exhaust is. Leads all the way to the back, and did you say something about maybe there's a few baffles in there? Or? There's no baffles, but in the middle, as it, as it heads back, you'll, the, the three pipes come into one and then back out to three again, so there's a, a joint back there. And that's done to uh, equalize the back pressure and to mellow out the sound some. Okay. But no mufflers. Yeah, that's pretty quiet. They, by, at this they, point in the video, they've already heard it run. It actually is very nice. Yeah. Now, did you have that radiator custom made to fit in there? Or? No, the, the radiator uh, actually is a Walker Cobra. Okay. 
He's at a, this fan shroud's clearly something that you uh, custom fabricated. Electric cooling fan right in here. Yeah, another hand built item. The, uh, the registration, it's free and clear, California. Uh, this is an illegal type plate, but right under this plate is the stamped numbers right in the frame just like California wants. Okay. So everything is clear clear and legal. It's registered as a 1927 Ford. Uh, okay, and you, I noticed you made it symmetrical here too. You had an oil filter about the size of the starter there. Put the remote oil filter on. That's a motorcycle unit. It's about the same size as the starter on the other side so that each side matches. All braided lines here. There's uh, everything's very nice, nicely detailed. Um, that's a fuel pressure gauge right there. It's really important. These are Stromberg 97 carbs, and they don't take a lot of fuel pressure. Um, so it's nice to know where your fuel pressure is on it. It has an electric fuel pump on it, based on the switch you were telling me on the inside. We've nice. we've sat the hood over there. Um, we talked about everything pretty much. We're going to set the hood back on this, and then. Uh, I'll do another clip here, but make sure you hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. Take a really good look at this car. We're going to have some nice show pictures right, of promise it, too. We're going to do a little undercarriage clip here. We've covered a lot of the suspension and stuff with the owner walking around. I'm just going to go around here and give you a little time to look at it. M&M Special. Curry 9-inch rear differential. Very, very well-polished 9-inch housing there. Chrome drum brakes on the back. Those are Ford. You'll see the chrome gas shocks there. You'll see the Model A spring. It's been uh, also wrapped in upholstery. There's the exhaust. You look at the underside. We're actually going to have full chassis pictures at Spud's Garage. Nice little license plate bracket so you bend your license plate and you put it in there. Also handmade. Handmade, yep. A lot of handmade stuff on this car. All braided lines. Just beautiful. You can see where he was talking about the exhaust where he switched it over. Floor pans are just as nice. This is a show quality car and award winning car. You know, give us a call at Spud's Garage if you're looking for a really nice street rod or show car. We know how to document them for you. It's safe and it's fun. We're never, ever any pressure. If there's a way to make a match between you and the owner, we'll figure out how to get it done. It's nice to have the owner uh, be able to cover some of the stuff. Some clients don't, don't want to talk on video, and we get that. Sometimes I don't want to. Um, see, the frame is all custom built. Sherm's plating is just gorgeous on this car. I love the friction shocks on the front end. Really nice, that quarter elliptical front suspension is just beautiful. That oil pan is high-end oil pan. About a $1,700 oil pan. Look at the finish on the frame rail as I'm doing this. Anyway, we're gonna ask you now to go to spudsgarage.com. This is a really neat car. Give us a call. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging on to the end of the video. Have a great day. Go to <laughs> Alrighty. Good to be going to your garage.